हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मोटिवेशनल मेडिकोज माई नेम इज पुलके गुप्ता एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टॉपिक दैट इज मैंसुरेशन साइकिल सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी फन एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो एज अ नेम सजेस्ट दैट इज मैंसुरेशनल साइकिल वी कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट द साइकिल एज द चेंजेस in uterus so we can also call it changes in uterus uh, what uh, we should understand first of all we will break the name that is cycle cycle means anything which is which occur periodically that is for fairly for uniform interval that means cycle and menstrual menstrual means uh, it this word comes from menses so this menses menses means lunar lunar month is called menses so which is of about uh, 28 days so this menstrual cycle is basically it is a recurrent monthly discharge of blood from the female genital canal and this uh, menstrual uh, cycle it is for basically uh, for duration of 25 to uh, 35 days approximately we take it average that is 28 days this is a normal uh, menstrual cycle which is uh, uh, which is the duration of this cycle this cycle is basically related to the ovulation and the secretion of ovarian hormone you can remember the ovarian hormone by c ovarian c start for o so ovarian hormones o from uh, ovarian hormones are the estrogen and the progesterone so estrogen also starts from o so o for ovarian o for estrogen you can remember like this now what you have to remember it is due to this uh, ovarian hormones which will influence the hypothalamic pituitary activity that bring about cyclic changes in the endometrium during the female reproductive period so what we need to understand in the reproductive cycle that it is consists of four phases it consists of basically four phases in which we have to talk about and there are four phases the first one is the menstrual phase menstrual phase see i will cover all the female sexual cycle that is uh, ovarian cycle or the uh, basically the uterus cycle which we in this which is called menstrual cycle and also the hormonal changes which is going to occur see uh, this menstrual phase it is for basically for 0 to 4 days or if we uh, say average for basically for 3 to 5 days now when this menstrual phase will occur if the ovum after ovulation is uh, not fertilized then this menstruation will occur or this phase will going to occur and why this phase will going to occur because of low estrogen and progesterone level and progesterone estrogen progesterone level and why their uh, their uh, their concentration is low because of you need to understand this also because of regression of corpus luteum of corpus luteum so because of low progesterone and estrogen which occur due to regression of corpus luteum this menstrual phase occur now what happen in this phase so menstrual blood comes out uh, through the vagina so why this menstrual blood a come out that's also we need to understand so what happen see first thing uh, i want to tell you one more thing about uh, endometrium you we you should know some one point about the endometrium what is that point that endometrium is something like this so this endometrium and it contains an artery this torturous supplying this and there's one artery over here so what happens see this two third region of the endometrium is this region is superficial as you can see this is going to be superficial and the name of this region is the stratum functionale stratum functionale 
stratum functionale and this one third region is deep and we are called we are calling it stratum basale that is stratum basale now this artery is the name is of this artery is spiral artery and this is basal artery since on the base so basal artery so now what happens during this menstrual phase this stratum functionale this get degenerates this get degenerates during this phase uh, which leads to this menstruation now what happen in this why this menstrual blood occur so what happen this uh, basically the due to spasm due to spasm in the spiral artery due to spasm in spiral artery what what happen this will lead to it will lead to endometrial necrosis endometrial necrosis and since uh, there is a necrosis in the endometrium so when this uh, when the vessel relax when this vessel relax what happen the sh there will be shedding of endometrium shedding of endometrium and due to which the uh, you know the menstrual blood will leak out the blood the you know the mucous membrane this will going to form this menstrual blood so one more thing uh, which uh, how much this menstrual blood occur uh, come out so it is around 8, 10 to 80 ml average we take 40 ml usually 40 ml menstrual blood uh, come out from the vagina and one more thing uh, there uh, in the menstrual blood it does not form clot why because uh, in the vagina we have one enzyme that is fibrolysin that liquefied the uh, blood due to which no clot is formed in the menstrual blood after this first phase the second phase uh, which we need to study is the proliferative phase proliferative phase see one more thing i want to tell you that in this region i have already told you that there is low estrogen progesterone level so in this region the menstrual phase basically lh and fsh level is high so uh, basically fsh influence so what happen i will tell you in this proliferative phase there are ovarian follicles which grows which grows in the size due to the influence of fsh you can see they are increasing in their size under the influence of fsh now this fsh what it do this ovarian follicle develop and these ovarian follicle secrete estrogen they secrete estrogen now the estrogen secretion at about 12 or 13 day estrogen level increases very high increases very high that is estrogen surge occur occur and this ultimately leads to increase in lh that is lh surge occur so this ls surge causes uh, the ovulation and in this phase endometrium uh, thickens endometrium thickens of uh, it thickens and also as the name said it is proliferative so it's proliferate the endometrium basically regenerate regenerating the endometrium also this proliferative phase i told you that it is for 5 to 14 days duration and uh, also one more point that is cervical mucus cervical mucus increases in this phase that is alkaline and watery cervical mucus become alkaline and watery in this phase and why this it becomes alkaline and watery because 
uh, after this phase ovulation is going to occur so providing the uh, basically environment for the sperm to enter this watery and alkaline cervical mucus helps in that so after this phase the third phase is ovulatory phase ovulatory phase so this ovulatory phase on the 14th day during will be on the 14th day so what happened is at this this day ovulation is going to occur due to this ls surge is responsible for this after 9 hour of ls surge this ovulatory phase occur and what happen at this time the cervical mucus increase in volume and see cervical mucus mucus it increase in volume and more watery since uh, you know uh, providing the cervical mucus is thinnest also at this time as i have already told you providing for the penetration by the spermatozoa so this that's what occur in this phase and uh, after this the last or the fourth phase is the secretory phase is this sec secretory phase this phase is also known as luteal phase luteal phase so what happen in this phase at the uh, after ovulation the uh, you know the lh and fsh level decline declines and estrogen and progesterone level increases why it increases because of corpus luteum as the name you can see it is a luteal phase because so what this luteal represent it is that is corpus luteum luteum is responsible in this phase responsible in this phase so what happen in this phase this endometrium this endometrium uh, what changes is going to occur in this phase in the endometrium so uh, basically this endometrium uh, increase in length see understand the concept what see if the uh, ovulation is occur and if the fertilization occur what it want it wants uh, endometrium for the providing the environment for the implantation so it's going to make endometrium increase in length making it more torturous tort uh, tortuous and also it increases the stroma the stroma proliferate proliferate pro sorry it's proliferate and also it enlarges and the spiral artery become coiled artery become spiral artery become coiled so that's are the endometrial changes which going to occur and there's going to uterine changes which we have now studied so uh, let's recapitulate whatever we have studied they are going this is going what is menstrual cycle it is going to be a, a menstrual fluid which is going to come out during the uh, every every month uh, it is duration is 25 to 35 days it's four phases menstrual phase uh, proliferative phase ovulatory phase and the secretory phase in the menstrual phase uh, you know the due to low estrogen progesterone level lead to the regression of corpus luteum due to what happen this endometrium is two third part superficial part that is structurum stratum functionale is going to degenerate due to spasm in the spiral artery leads to so when this vessel relax lead to shedding of the endometrium and around 40 ml uh, blood is going to uh, remove uh, remove out from the vagina in the second phase is the proliferative phase what ha- going to happen in this phase the ovarian follicles going to develop under the influence of fsh which going to this thick internal layer of the ovarian follicle is going to form estrogen so this estrogen level increases very much in the 12 to 13 days so that will lead to estrogen surge this estrogen surge would going to increase lh and this increase in lh leads to ls surge and this what happened the in the endometrium in this so this endometrium going to thicken proliferate the endometrium as a name is the proliferative phase so endometrium going to proliferate and the cervical mucus going to be alkaline and watery that is going to provide favorable environment for the sperm to enter after this the third phase is ovulatory phase which is on the 14th day at this time also cervical mucus going to increase at this time ls surge is going to occur 
after uh, 9R ovulation going to occur after the LS surge after there is a secretory phase in the, also called as luteal phase because in this corpus luteum is responsible in this phase it's going to secrete progesterone continuously also some amount of estrogen also so this progesterone is responsible going to be for the endometrium increase in length for making its artery torturous for making the stroma proliferate and enlarge and the spiral artery become coiled so that's it for all about the female sexual cycle and also about the menstrual cycle which we need to study if you like this video please like share subscribe and guys don't forget to press the bell icon thank you guys yeah.